Hello everybody, my name is Adam and we are back in Planet Zoo today where we have now got the Europe pack. It is live, it's launched and you can get it like I have. And one of the first animals I wanted to create an enclosure for is the European Badger. And we started off with creating this like custom mesh fencing kind of thing. I wanted this build to come off quite realistic but add my own unique touches along the way. Once the actual mesh fence I wanted to create was created it was time to build the outlay and, and the habitat barriers so to speak these custom barriers of the habitat i wanted to create so basically the foundation the layout and the starting point of how i wanted this habitat to look you can see i've got two different barriers one for the actual animal and then one further out lower down for our guest you see this a lot in, in zoos again just adding to that more realistic value of this build once one side was done it's as simple as that you just duplicate around and then i've got two sides done and then once this was done this is how it came out looking as you can see everything is in place i added some little bit more foliage and just stuck that path for our guests around the habitat itself making sure everything can fit in and everything looks nice and to be honest i'm really happy how this habitat does come out looking in the end um now let's move on to the the in part not the in part what do you call it the enclosed part of this habitat the habitat shelter for our lovely european badgers and we used another piece which is new to the game which released with the europe pack and i really like this piece um as you can see it gives quite a realistic and authentic look to this build i wanted circular if you know anything about me i create circular things a lot we've got two circular buildings one a bit taller than other and this is our this is our basically our hard shelter for our badgers we've also chucked in um two like pulled down fences to give it that more realistic feel as well like that area the inside area can be closed off to the outside area so our badgers can either be in one or the other and once that was complete it was time to then move on to foliage and i say it all the time with any build i do foliage really makes a habitat come alive and different kinds of foliage as well don't stick to like one different plant or one different rock mix it up or have a, do what i did here i had a look what was relevant and what i mean by that is i'm doing a, a habitat for the european badger now i wanted foliage to match that so i just simply filter them down to europe the plant and the foliage in the rocks um again with the biome just filter them down and then you know everything's going to fit and everything's going to look more authentic and more realistic just adding some rocks here we also added one of the new burrows as you just saw me add there and these are brilliant basically if you're not aware it's actually a few animals but badger is definitely one of them I'm not sure on the other animals what can use it but badgers can go down and then underneath your actual habitat and they can have that as hard shelter down there and it's simply as easy as just putting that enrichment item into your habitat again just finishing off the foliage here as well as the actual bedding for our badgers so they can get a good night sleep and then again making sure that they have everything they need i actually changed some of the foliage towards the end and yeah everything comes out looking good so let's take a look so that's it we are complete and i'm really happy how it came out looking in the end now as you can see um it is finished and if you want this habitat for yourself then the link to my steam workshop page will be down below in the description so you can have this by downloading it and have it in your own zoos but be warned it is best played in sandbox mode this was you know it wasn't meant to be practical it was meant to be you know a bit of an experiment and a bit of a more realistic build so our lovely badgers unfortunately are not happy because they don't have enough space to, to traverse in but this is the kind of size you would see at a real zoo. It might look small, but it's actually quite convenient. A little large for our lovely badgers. Talking about badgers, here they are. Just look how adorable these badgers are. Plenty of zoos do an absolute wonderful job at animations. They really do. So let's have a quick look around, shall we? And show you some things you might not have seen. Obviously, you've seen our custom gate. Separate separate fence here for our guest. Again, giving it that realistic feel. There's our burrow. So if we actually click on this, it will show you underneath 
where our badges can actually go they can go in there and then go underneath the actual terrain into um, the below the habitat really they've got everything they need um, habitat wise so they've got obviously as you can see one of them using the blood scented um, pool here some logs and foliage as realistic as possible to do it and then inside we've got the bedding we've got the water and the feeding bowl and it goes all the way around there's another badger just having a little chill and a little lie down in the shade and then we've got our habitat door which i created a custom door well not custom door it's one of the doors in game but just basically look i'll show you actually so if i delete this you'll see our habitat door is there so if you are putting this in your own zoos then the habitat go door goes here and then just a simple null barrier all the way around at the outside and then join it back up to the habitat door and boom you can then get your animals in so that is pretty much everything if you're new around here hit that subscribe button new art hold smash that like button my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next like zoo video.